Hello, chess lovers. So I'm here, and today I decided to ask OpenAI chatbot ChatGPT to suggest me a nice game where a queen sacrifice is made. And here is what ChatGPT answered. Sure, here is a game that involves a queen sacrifice. Games Pasky vs. Bronstein 1960 Candidates Tournament. The only problem is that this game was actually played back in 1956, four years earlier. Anyways, and then here comes a description. Bronstein sacrificed his queen for a rook and two minor pieces, creating a dangerous attack on Spassky's king. Despite having a material advantage, Spassky was unable to defend against Bronstein's attack and eventually lost the game. The interesting thing is that actually Spassky won the game. Yeah, yeah, this is very strange again. It gives a wrong description. Uh, actually, Spassky managed to defend accurately and even won. And here is the game. Spassky opened up with d4 to which Bronstein answered with knight f6. c4 g6. By the way, as you can see, I left Stockfish run in order you can see how the evaluation changes throughout the game. King's Indian defense is on the board against which white is choosing Zemish variation. With f3, white is strengthening his center and later intends to castle queenside and the pawn on f3 will support the kingside advance. E5, D5, Knight, H5, Bronstein is opening up the Queen's diagonal and at the same time is preparing F5. Bishop E3, Knight, A6, Queen, D2, Queen, H4, check. In here, of course, White can cover the King with the Bishop, but in our game we have G3, which is also a provocative move. White is inviting Knight takes G3, although up to this point the continuation Knight takes G3 had not been seen, and it was in here that Bronstein made a novelty. He went for Knight takes G3. This is something which leads to a Queen sacrifice. What is interesting? Years later, in 1992, when Bronstein was playing against Deep Thought, he moved his queen back on e7. Yeah, he didn't go for this for this tricky line. And now let's see how is this crazy is going to end up. Queen f2 pinning the knight. Already white wants to win a piece. That's why the logical continuation knight f1 is on the board. And on move 10, we see a queen sacrifice. Knight takes e3, now the threat is knight c2 check, at the same time the pawn is hanging, white neutralized the fork but lost the pawn on c4. Against the queen, black got two bishops and two pawns. Is this enough? Well, if black can consolidate his position, can activate his pieces, then it's more than enough. But still, at the moment, everything is not so easy. There are lots of problems to solve in Black's camp. According to Stockfish, knight b6 is passive, better is knight a3 and then knight c5, a5. But in our game, we have knight b6. Knight g2, f5, rook g1, and black castled kingside. King g2, meanwhile, white is looking for a safe shelter for his king. Bishop f6, queen g3, knight b4 a5 and knight c8. So by going for a queenside pawn push, somehow white managed to disrupt the coordination of black knights, you know? I really don't like the way, for example, this knight is placed. Also, the knight on b4 can be harassed at any moment, something which we will see right now. And there it goes after bishop f5. Oops, rook a4 followed, attacking black knight. Knight d3, but this is not the best square for the knight. Better is playing c5, and if here the knight takes c6. Instead, in our game, we have knight d3, rook c4, knight c5. Seems like that knight c5 is already a huge mistake, and yes, after that move, we see a huge change in evaluation. According to Stockfish, better was playing bishop d8. If rook f1, then c5. If here, then b takes c6. So this leads to a pawn sacrifice, but then with rook b8, you are switching your rook into the game and you are getting a counterplay, right? 
rook d3 is not possible because of bishop h4 and seems like that yeah in this case now black can somehow create problems for white the position remains highly complex and, uh, and unclear, the fight goes on, but in our game we have rook c5 and now gradually white will intensify the pressure. Yes, too passive, you know, black knight retreated back and there comes knight takes f6 check with which white is removing opponent's dark squared bishop, a key piece in king's Indian defense. Knight c3, knight e7, rook e1, rook f8, b4. Then, yeah, the knight on the rim is dim, and I really don't like that. Uh, then pawn on e4 also drops. This is not good, this is not good, and it's obvious that Braunstein lost the momentum. Knight a c7. Well, knight b4 is something which is worth of taking into consideration. Although, even in this case, white is just doing great. But in our game, we have knight c7, and yeah, it's bad, too bad. And now we will see how uh, Spassky will realize the advan advantage. Uh, Blake has only two knights and a pawn against the queen, right? And yeah, it's not enough. And now the queen cooperating together with the rook will finish up his opponent. A6. This A6 is really a strong move, which is breaking into pieces. The harmony among black pawns is making them vulnerable, and now, yes, black pawns are starting to fall one after another. Queen b7, knight d3, rook e7. Yeah, there is no way out, you know. Black king is now a target. King g4, queen e3, with a mating threat already. King g5, h4 check. King g4, king h2, again renewing the mating threat, knight h5, and after rook h6, resignation followed. If you protect the pawn, then this check is winning the knight. Yeah, that's why enough is enough. At this point, resignation followed. So, each time I am publishing a game where someone is sacrificing his queen, that leads to a victory, but this time I made an exception, I also didn't reveal in the title how is this game going to end up, and I am sure that the outcome of the game was a surprise for you, as well as the game was interesting. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the game, feel free to share it with your friends as well, and in the end, let me sharpen your tactical skills, the task is to find the mating line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.